Hey guys, welcome back to Firewatch. Hope you're all okay. Uh, this is where we last left it, so I'm going to carry on. Uh, we have found this awesome BP BP thing, uh, and yeah, I don't know we're, what we're doing. I'm just going to go follow this thing. Let's. This receiver just picked something up. Um, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. My radio's been turned off. Fucking hell. Oh, excuse me. Did not expect the alarm. Hmm. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, some basics. But it was alarm. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? No, I'm fine, but there's a set of keys here. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but it looks like the set to the cave that went missing. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. <coughs> Says the woman with the half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. You're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. What? It's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Go. 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 Come on. Come on. Have I gone the wrong way? <laughs> okay, I just uh, run round in a circle. As you do. Come here, little fucker. Oh, I've got an axe. It's okay. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. 
left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um. So I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know or that I'm an arsonist or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. You're right. I know. Okay, then. So finally, we get to go and explore the cave. Yes, I'm actually quite excited. Um, that's not my map. Where is my map? <laughs> Sorry, there it is. Okay, so it is north, 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 west, west, north, north. There we go. Such a better compass, that. Right then. It is really smoky. Really smoky. Okay. Can't see shit. Okay. Shit. Okay, if I go north from here, and go north from here. Yeah, I can go north from here. See? Everything's good. <laughs> oh, I get so lost. I'm so sorry for getting lost all the time, guys. This view. Oh. Oh. Is that a hint? Beautiful. Beautiful photo. I'm so going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah. Okay.
Right, OK, sorry about the little skip there, but I just got myself back on track. I thought it'd be better than just running across and going back in circles. So we're uh, still looking for the cave. But we should now be... There we go, on the right track. I wonder what's in there. Oh. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to be able to look out. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. What? Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen, though. Thanks, Henry. Who or what is doing what? This is so... So confusing. Right then. Let's go explore. Okay. Lila, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! I can't get any damn reception. Jesus, this is a big cave. <sighs> uh, key. in here. Is anybody down there? Okay. Somebody die down here? Hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any 
climbing equipment. I just have my rope. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it... Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. I found an old school folder. Older. Brian was a hell of a doodler. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Huh. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear. His anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. And he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him and... Pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to him. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Shame that doesn't work. I was have fun with that. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? that he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. And he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Spruce my place over then. <laughs> Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Okay, back to the cave then. Deeper we will go. Can I get back in through there? Or do I have to go all the way around? Really?
Uh, I'm probably something that will kill me. So yeah, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry, I mean, they closed the door when they could have just bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a. Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Well, you screwed that up when you friggin' told the cops we knew nothing. They don't even go there. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. For that. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. A bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. It's not the way I want to be going. Ah, oh, I'm so confused here. Is it this way? Brilliant. Is it still up? I've still got the key. Okay. Well, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so that's what happened to Brian. It's sad. It's sad. This place is huge. There's more. Why is this leading us? There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's, what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah, it's Brian Goodwin. I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about it. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Well guys, uh, I am going to leave the video here. I know it looks really quite intense outside. Uh, do join me in the next episode. Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the Flapjack fire or the site fire or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. About packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? Okay, we'll just... About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. 
Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. Okay. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Okay, so like I said, I am going to leave this episode here. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, but for now, do take care. Uh, hit that like button. Don't forget to add some comments. And if you have not already, then please do hit that subscribe button. Goodbye now. Goodbye.